Barnstable this morning, just about seven minutes past the top of the hour. On this Tuesday morning, I'm Sarah Colvin, and joining me live on the phone, I welcome our Chief of Police at Paul McDonald. Chief, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. So, Chief, uh, another week, another storm. Uh, tell me a little bit about how things fared uh, over over the, the course of the weekend. It was probably just uh, just Sunday, actually, that was that was the worst of, of it. It was just Sunday. I think the timing of the storm uh, worked out well for DPW and for the town, uh, because we came in on Sunday, uh, there was minimal traffic on the road as compared to the last storm. Um, DPW was already out there. I don't believe they have to stop since this storm we had two weeks ago. They would just work continued right through it. Um, they did a great job. Um, I believe the entire day we only towed uh, two vehicles. Uh, we were in contact with the Boston County Regional Emergency Planning Committee. The shelters uh, did not open. Um, that decision was made at 12 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Um, power outages um, at the height, uh, we had approximately 1,300 residents without power. That was 11 o'clock Sunday morning. But by 11.30, um, they, they had all regained their power. Um, and we had made arrangements for a warming shelter that was going to be the police department. We are in contact with the Red Cross. If anybody did lose their power or they lost their heat, they would come to the PD. Um, that would be used as a warming shelter. So all in all, it went very, very well. As far as criminal activity, there was virtually um, none to speak of. Most of all of our calls uh, pertain to storm-related or disabled motor vehicles out on the roadway. Indeed. So, so definitely, uh, that that's a good thing in terms of uh, a low low crime. And again, uh, DPW did a great job, and and the timing of the storm I think worked out well, not for, for DPW but for everyone. Uh, nice to to have that kind of snow in the morning, and then the sun come out in the afternoon, and to be able to kind of work and and, and shovel out, and not have to worry about it freezing over at night is a good thing. That's right. Exactly. You know, I mean, the last storm went off for for two days. You know, this was relatively uh, short duration. You know, there was there was winds associated with this. I'm um, not not the same degree as the other storm was. Um, but still, it, uh, it worked out well. Absolutely. Uh, Chief, uh, did cause a couple of cancellations, though. I know I, I was actually supposed to run in a 5K um, in Barnstable Village on yes. Saturday, and that got canceled. Uh, good thing, kind of dangerous out there. And then, of course, the Highness Marathon, which is a huge event, uh, supposed to be coming up this weekend, and that is canceled as well. Can you talk to me a little bit about how you work with these race organizers uh, to kind of determine safety levels? We were in contact with them for the last couple of days. And yesterday, we talked to them several uh, several times. And tomorrow, uh, last night, we made a decision uh, talking to Mr. Collier, who was a race organizer um, that the race, is, race should be canceled and he agreed you know last year's race there was I believe there was 7,300 runners on the street it starts in front of the resort and conference center there on Scudder Avenue goes through Hyannis Hyannis Port down through Centerville you know with the roads being as narrow as they are with the amount of snow on the roadway with the snow bank which affects the visibility of, of cars at all of the intersection and then to put 7,300 runners on the roadway um, it was a recipe for disaster Disaster. So we, we made a decision to uh, to cancel a road race. We we don't make that decision lightly because we know it's a huge economic shot in the arm for uh, for a hiatus in, in the middle of winter. Uh, but public safety has to prevail. Absolutely, and, and safety, I think, uh, you know, in terms of just going out and running by yourself is a little dangerous and thinking about having 7,000-plus people in the roadways and the potential of slip, slipping and, you know, the visibility is, right. is hard because of all the snow, um, certainly, I think, a smart, a smart decision. And, and it's tough, too, for all the runners because I believe this is the last qualifying marathon for the Boston Marathon. So if they don't get an opportunity to run in this road race at a certain time and they don't qualify, they're not going to be able to run the Boston Marathon, which is April 15th. But who knows if they're going to have the Boston Marathon. The snow's still going to be here in April, I'm sure. So. So we'll see. It's kind of disappointing for everybody, but uh, it was the right decision to make. Absolutely. Safety first. And Chief, uh, if, if I may, I want to talk briefly, too, about the Community Impact Unit. I know that they are headed to yes. Nashville soon, and I don't think you and I have talked a little bit about this. Some really great training. They got a gift from the LaRusso La Foundation um, to be able to go to Nashville to get this important training. They got a $50,000 gift from the LaRusso Foundation, and we are also just notified last week from the Department of Mental Health. They got another $70,000 grant um, from the Department of Mental Health because uh, they were so impressed with the program that the community impact unit is putting together. This first round of training is uh, first aid for mental health, specifically dealing with homeless individuals. Um, the course is not offered that often. It's uh, offered um, in the fall, one, one in Florida, one in Texas, one in Nashville. So we're going to send the three offices down um, to Nashville using the money from the LaRusso Foundation. And that's going to enable those three offices to come back and then teach the entire Boston Police Department, the 115 offices. And once we do that, we'll expand that. If other local departments, Southeast and Mass, want to pertain in it, we'll also, we'll also instruct them.
Absolutely, so very important. And I'm sure, Chief, I know that, that of course, the Community Impact Unit deals a lot with the homeless population. And, and what are the concerns uh, the, the, this time of year, especially with all the snow and the, just the bitter cold temperatures? Is there is there a place where uh, the CIU can kind of take these people or, or obviously, um, you know, direct them to the day center, et cetera, services? Is that a big concern this time that, That's year? what they've been doing for the last couple of weeks. They've, they've been actually out there trudging through the snow, checking the homeless camps out there. They've accounted for just about everyone. Um, we do not believe anyone is out in the camps right now. A lot of the chronic chronic homeless individuals, um, they will not go to shelter under any circumstances whatsoever, but we have been able to reach family members or friends and at least have been able to get them uh, to stay with friends for a relatively short period of time. So we know they're not out in the street, we know they're not in the camp, so uh, we feel confident uh, that everybody will make it through uh, this difficult time. You know, if you remember last winter, you know, we had seven people die, four people died died in the woods from exposure and three people died in the shelter and, uh, and so far this year we've had no one pass away. That is uh, certainly good news, Chief. I thank you so much. And, of course, uh, gearing up for a little bit more snow uh, coming in later on tonight. Is it ever going to stop? <laughs> we hope so. We hope so. I don't like the thought of there still being snow in Boston in April, but, you know, <laughs> you've you got to think about that. The Red Sox will have to wear their snow boots when they get out on the <laughs> Exactly. <time> <laughs> All okay. right. Well, Chief, I thank you so much, as always, for joining us, and we will catch up with you again next Tuesday. Okay. Have a great week. Talk to you then. Bye. Bye. Chief of Police Paul McDonald joining us on this Tuesday morning. Much